Hello. Hello, 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 everyone. Let me go here so I can see my chat. Hey, how's it going? Son Lehman, how are you? Hey, Mr. Wanda. Okay, so y'all know I ain't done no personal readings in a hot second. So, ooh, I don't need this. Um, so hey Rio, how you doing, baby? So, um, I'm when uh Ms. Virgo comes in here, y'all thank Ms. Virgo for asking me to do personal readings tonight or was i going to because i wasn't gonna <laughs> hey tati Ooh, you got on it quick didn't you crusty and rusty let me get crusty rusty gone done let me get crusty Raina. going through decks to see if they and to see if they keep telling me the same thing about your roommate, child. They gonna keep telling you the same damn thing. All right, well, let's get it on. Let's get it on. You guys, tonight, if you would like to donate, fine. If you don't want to donate, fine. I'm not really freaking out about that too terribly tough. All right. Uh, Raina, do you want me to give you a general? So we got uh, Raina first, and then we have Hey Sag, and then we have Tati next. Not the ones keep coming up. Ooh, hey there! Now y'all thank Miss Virgo. Actually, I'm gonna do Miss Virgo first because Miss Virgo texted me today and was like yada 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 and then it was like coming on to do readings tonight and so y'all thank her thank thank miss virgo right now because otherwise i wouldn't have been on here all right miss virgo i'm gonna take miss virgo then i'm gonna do rena then i'm gonna do tati and then who's keeping my list hey for now hey mimi how you doing baby so here's the list so here's the list. Here's the list. All right. Ms. Virgo. Raina. Tati. Mimi. Sun. Okay. There we go. Ms. Virgo, do you want me to just give you the reading we were talking about earlier today? All right, here we go. Thanks, Tawanda. Okay, here we go. How he's feeling about you is seven of pentacles. Girl, I can't read like that. It will not be upside down. Sorry, y'all. I won't do. Ooh. 
I really, really, hey SR, I really want to read upside down, but y'all, I cannot. Let me make myself a little bit bigger. All right, here we are. Seven of Pentacles. How he's feeling about you deep down. So he's sitting here going, potentially, possibly, maybe there could be something. Um, however, he's trying to figure out that Libra balance. He's trying to, f I forgot what his sign is. Is this sign Libra? Ooh, and he is in a heap load of indecision right now. How he's, he's a cancer. Okay. So I knew he was some kind of like thinking sign. He's feeling like there are, it, it, interestingly enough, he's actually feeling like, okay, we're taking baby steps. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere, blah, blah, blah. Still trying to seek that crazy balance and not understanding how. And he's very confused, very indecisive about which way to go, how to make it work. He's just overthinking this. How he's walking his walk is the king of pentacles. So he's basically kind of like, hey, I'm about the bag. I got everything, you know, I, I'm handling my business. Um, I've got things under control. Um, why is that ace of swords there? Oh, he's really focused on his money right now. He's trying to, he's coming up with, or there is something in the works right now that he feels is going to be quite lucrative and quite abundant and could potentially put him in a position that he's always wanted to be in, um, real, like set, you know what I mean? Like not having to worry about money, not having to worry about money. Can I get one more, please? Ooh. Ooh. But he's really carrying around still too many burdens. Um, does his, his family might be asking him for money or he might be feeling like he needs to provide for more than just uh, his immediate, you know, in the household family as well. Um, very burdened by this um, but he is getting to a point where he's a he's gonna get to a point where he can let it go hey Keza <laughs> thank you Keza uh, energies are things that you may not be aware of that are there uh, who is this ace of cups about listen boo boo listen three of wands ace of cups you know what deep down inside he really feels like he's hit the jackpot other people are telling him he's hit the jackpot or that why is it that you will not allow love in why will you not allow love in okay rain i'm gonna hold your place but you're not listening to me. Yes, I understand he broke his wrist, but there's something in the works where he feels like he's going to be made whole again. I feel like he's feeling like there's something there that, that he can get to, a bag he can get to, to make things cool and copacetic. He wants to be in a relationship, but he doesn't see where this is going how this is going to work because he can't see where he can be all that he wants to be in a relationship and he's thinking in his head about what it is you may want or not want he's thinking about that part as well there is the thought about whether or not you all would um wow i i um it's like i see him having a conversation I don't know if he has a brother or a cousin that he's close to. It looks like somebody that's relatively close to his age and he's having this conversation about you. Like people are asking where you're at or what he's doing about this situation. Is he gonna just let you go this time? 
is he gonna you know step up to the plate why is he so concerned about what's what uh, why is he so overly crazed concerned about this miss virgo i see this conversation happening just as plain as day like they sitting down chopping it up about this And they're telling him to stop being such a stick in the mud and stop trying to come off like he's some sort of player or whatever and that he can't just have you around just when he wants you around he's got to be able to include you into his life more hey sarah hey savannah you can get on the list savannah savannah you can get on the list. i should have said no damn love reading lord jesus forgive me jesus Ms. Virgo, where you at? Ms. Virgo, where you at? Ms. Okay, you know what? Me and you, this is why me and you sometimes butt heads. I'm not even going to finish this. Let me put you like this. Because you're not hearing me. If you leave, leave. And you know I love you to pieces, girl. If you really want to leave, then leave. No one can force you to stay. It's not that he's not being a grown man. That's not it. Just because he and this other gentleman are chopping it up doesn't mean that he's not being a grown man we all have things that we have to work through and we all have ways that we interact with uh those that we truly care about and i will tell you this about a cancer okay we sometimes get in our moods and our modes where we're basically in our shell while we're trying to work things out. And it's not that we don't want to be bothered with you or we don't love you or we don't care about you. We can get kind of selfish and kind of damn moody where we kind of like a damn cat, to be honest with you. Like, honestly, if I'm, I'm just going to be so real about this right now, I'm like that as well, right? So I can want somebody around, but that I only want them around when I want them around what i'm seeing is there's things in his world that he's trying to get aligned and i see that there are people talking to him asking him are you going to let this go or are you going to step up to the plate his intention in all this is you question is are you going to find the strength to wait are you going to find the strength to have the conversation are you going to be able to find the strength to help pull him out of his shell because he is about to go through a tower moment that he's going to have to be strong in and he thinks he's already you know if, if he understood all this he would say i've been through a tower moment no there's more coming but when he comes out of it, it's going to be all about he's going to have a much better uh, outlook on himself and be satisfied within himself and have the self-love and the ability to love someone else and find that balance. What spirit is telling you is this. You have to find the strength to talk to him. But you cannot come at him with you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't da 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 da. Allow him to express himself and his feelings if he finally can feel comfortable enough to do it with you. Give him that space. Let him ask the question and be honest and say, "Listen, this is how this is making me feel. I need to understand where you're at. 
what's going on because there is no communication. And at that point, then you'll have your answer. I'm just telling you, he's about to go through another tower moment. If he comes through it in the way that he should, he'll come through it in a better place as a better man. If he doesn't, then he's going to really go with all the way in this shell. So I would talk to him, but don't come at him sideways with it. Just come at him and say, I got to understand what's going on. Can you please express this to me? Put, you got to put the ball back in his court. He's still going through some things and I'm telling you, there's something else with that money. There's something else with that money that he's either, he can see where he's going to be able to get it. And right now by him not having a whole lot of money, it really doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't make him feel good. He feels like crap. Hey, Alicia. So you have to have a conversation. You can't just up and go. Depending upon how that conversation plays out, then you'll be free to leave. Okay. Or maybe you'll see him in a different light. Okay. Does that help you? Girl, sometimes I want to take you on my knee, child. I just have, want to know about me getting into the nursing program. Okay. All right, Raina, are you available or do you want me to come back to you? I know you said you had to go to the store. In the meantime, who did I say was after Raina? Son? No. Um, Mimi. No, Mimi's after Raina. I remember that situation, but you got to talk to him, okay? Just talk to him. Okay. We're going to, when Raina pops back in, whenever Raina pops back in, she's going to be next again. I hope Raina hears me. All right, Mimi, let's get you a general. Mimi, I see a uh, potentially there's some sort of contract coming in. Mimi, could be a new job. Uh -oh. Okay, this is what I've got for you: energy cards, contract, attachment, and garden in the gate. Listen, guys, this is what we're gonna do tonight. Um, You guys, if you wish to, please, um, if you wish to donate, that would be very nice. I'm not going to move people up in the, in the list, but if you wish to donate, that would be very nice. Mimi, I, I, I'm, it's feeling to me like there's potentially a new job on the horizon or a new, uh, it could be a completely new career that perhaps has opened itself up to you. Um, but I'm feeling like um, there is uh, some resistance to move forward because of uh, maybe a sense of loyalty to the current job. Maybe you're not feeling like you can really step out into the next thing, which is why this garden and the gate card is here. Okay, Rain, I'll do you right after Mimi. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. So if you do move forward with this new job, it, the Ten of Cups comes up, which this, this new career, this new opportunity would really... Wow. Listen, girl. Listen. Listen, Linda. Listen. That Wheel of Fortune is trying to turn into your... Into your it's turning for your favor with the new position. Uh, is there somebody, I don't know if there's somebody at this job that you really care about. Mm. 
that's got you really thinking and there's some anxiety here are you concerned that there's somebody that you're going to be leaving this other this current position high and dry um maybe it at one time really did satisfy you but now there's some anxiety is there a water sign involved here okay this current position maybe it looked like it was going to be exactly what you wanted or it, it really it was feeling good at first mimi um but now there's some things that popped up that really make it it's kind of almost toxic um it's kind of like you're really like unnaturally attached to it and there's causing some anxiety i'm not sure where you're working right now but i do feel like there is a potential that the position could eventually be eliminated or the job or that they could close their doors ah okay that's why it's causing you anxiety um also i do feel this way though okay uh i I'm just feeling like this this particular company could potentially not be doing well in the future. So really what the reason why I got the garden and the gate is because you have like everything you kind of want in this garden, right? But, and you've locked yourself in this garden behind this gate when all around on the outside of the gate is the brand new world. There's so much more out there. You got to decide you're going to let yourself out. I do see it being a good thing for you, though, if you do make the move. It would be a very good thing for you, Mimi, if you're willing to take, take the plunge. And who knows, you and your boss could work together again sometime. Or maybe start your own business, start a business together. You know? So I think you should go for it. You're welcome, love. All right, Raina. Raina's next. Then go get that change, child. Go get it. Uh, boo boo. What you want me to read? We're going to keep it moving, y'all. We're going to keep it cute. Keep it moving here. Move quick. Boo boo. What you want? Everybody make sure that your name is on that list if you wish to be on the list. I thought there was somebody that came in here. Oh yeah, I saw somebody other. Okay. General. All right, boo boo. Gotcha. What do we have for Raina tonight, please? Raina, I ain't never seen that Darren card anxiety pop up. A man holding a heart. Ooh, and a man holding the coin. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. <laughs> oh, I couldn't help that one, child. I couldn't help it. Hey, Nene. <laughs> I'm sorry. That song just popped right in my head. It's raining man. Let me see what the anxiety one is all about. I think I know anyway, but I'm going to read it. Okay. Anxiety, worry, or distress. The woman on this card is filled with anxiety, worrying about something that causes her a great deal of discomfort. Receiving this card may indicate that you're experiencing a time of increasing stress, perhaps even a situation that you find yourself brooding about much of the time. Are you thinking about this enough? However, if you'll notice the scene outside the window, the storm is distant and perhaps even moving away. Whatever is going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. Brooding and fretting, thinking and worrying will never solve things, so trust in yourself and your process. When you live in a, with a relaxed heart and mind, you're far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. 
Hey, Angel Wings. All right. So we, okay, so listen, the man holding, so we know what you're brooding about. The man holding the heart always symbolizes one of two things. There's love coming towards you. Or there's a healing that needs to happen with that divine masculine in you. In other words, that you need to shore yourself up. Uh, but I see the man holding a heart and the man holding a coin, which means your heart and your coin about to get right. And it's not, oh, son of a bitch. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. Raina, Raina, boo boo. Do you see that star card? Boo boo. Uh, and that's the card for Capricorn. The minor arcana for Capricorn. I needed my damn cup that Suri sent me. I'm just gonna leave that sit down. There's gonna be victory in this whole situation. That the man, the man holding the coin with that that tells me that there's gonna be victory in this situation. It may not be with the star card. And it very well could be with the star card. Hey, sorry. Hey, Angel. All right, boo boo. Um, I'm feeling like there's something coming around here. Uh, if they are willing to do what they're supposed to do. Okay. If they're willing to do what they're supposed to do, but you can't make them do it. So the potential is there for something to be truly manifest in a holistic way, heart, mind, body, soul. Do you understand? No, it's not. Girl, the star card is the card for Aquarius. Ain't no point in checking. That's what it is. So I do see there being victory and resolution in this situation. Hey, D. <laughs> D came out like, whoop, murk. <laughs> so there will be resolution in this. I, there will be resolution to this. Um, but it's really going to depend on that other person, um, whether or not they come back around. 